How's it going, ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six Killer. Welcome back to Move 78. In the last one, we did the, um, geez, what did we do? We did, uh, Bates's, uh, memory room or whatever. Every single room seems to be connected to one of the participants' memories. That was his. What's going to be next? I don't know, but I hope it's not as try as tough as that one was, because, man, this game, you know how the demons say, hey, you have to suffer for their, uh, sustenance, right? The game makes you feel like you're suffering. <laughs> Some of these puzzle rooms are punishing, man. It actually, it's like the closest thing I've played to pathologic as far as the game hating the player. In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> I know it doesn't sound good, but uh, that's why pathologic is uh, uh, an all-time great, you know? Well, pathologic too is an all-time great. Anyway, back on topic. And then what happened? The botfly killer tortured me. I don't want to go into the details. The long story short right. is that the feds found me in time. That's right, him and his girlfriend were uh, looking at a house to buy or something. That was the last thing we did. And uh, they got captured by the botfly killer and then we had to get out of that. That room wasn't too bad apart from the slide puzzle. And Machi? Never saw her again. The botfly killer must have got into her in the end. Hmm. Got something to say, Max? No. This name, the Botfly Killer, sounds so familiar to me. It's familiar to me, too. I felt shivers when I heard it. I wonder if this Botfly Killer could be involved with all this somehow. Sounds reasonable. And that's all you can remember? So far, yeah. I'm so sorry that happened to you, Dushin. Yeah. Thanks. Have you seen your own finger? Jesus, I think, I think we should all be sorry for you. I don't know. Maybe something changed in the complex. It can't be a coincidence. What makes you say that? Well, it's like a game, isn't it? Each time you solve a room, you get back your memories and an item. So maybe somewhere in this complex, a room got solved, which gave Dushin back his memories. Are you saying someone solved a room and didn't tell the rest of us? Or that there's someone else that's in here? It's a strong possibility. There might be others here solving rooms, yeah. Well, the only way to prove it is to find another room to test this theory. Regardless, that's what we're supposed to be doing anyhow. Alright, if there's nothing else, everyone should split up and start exploring again. In another six hours, the timer will expire. We should all meet up in the computer room and address Unit 731 when that happens. Indeed. After everyone else is gone... Hunter, we didn't tell Bates about the gun. Sorry, when Duchesne mentioned that story, it really distracted me. Look, we can tell him later, okay? The next chance we get, preferably without Max around. Preferably. That gives me the creeps. Fine, but listen, I think Lube is right. Huh? We solved Bates's room. He received an item and got back his memories. And so? And this means, since Max knew about the gun, we can confirm that the police station was his room and he should have his memories back. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit! You could be right! If Dushin got his memories back... Someone completed his room. Someone solved his room and didn't tell anyone. But why would someone do that without telling us? Probably the same reason as us, I guess. Yeah, same reason you're hiding everything, Hunter. If that is even your real name. <laughs> and here's another thought. As Liuba said, this place may rely on game logic. You solve something, you gain an item as a reward. It makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, we got this scope from Bates, so whoever solved Duchesne's room must have found an item as well. But what? I don't like this. There's someone here who doesn't trust us, which also makes them untrustworthy too. You realize you just described us, right? Look, we'll tell them about the gun, okay? Just give it time, and let's avoid Max from now on. Besides, he hid the fact that he got his memory back. That makes him suspicious. Okay. Meanwhile, we should find out if Douche might know what the item from his room could be. Good idea. Sure, sure. Five hours and forty minutes later, Sigrid and Hunter run into Bates and Douche in the hallway near Unit 731's room. Hey ya! I see you two are early as well. Good. Yeah, we're looking forward to flipping off the machine that runs this place. Uh, Duchesne? What's up? I hope you don't mind me asking, but do you have any idea what kind of item may have been found in your memory room? You know, I've been trying to figure it out, but I just can't think what it could be. You're like a musician, right? So, something related to that? Sorry. 
Oh, it's okay. I thought I'd ask anyway. Well, while we're asking questions, uh, Bates. Something on your mind? We've meant to tell you something about Max in these memory rooms. Go on. What if I said he's doing something behind our backs? Like what, exactly? No idea. I haven't seen what Max gets up to by himself. I've known soldiers like Max, Hunter. It's essential to have them be part of a unit, sure. But once you've given them roles to play, it's also important to let them be who they are, to let them work according to their strengths. Max seems to be at his best when he's working alone. I leave him to it and wait for his reports. Leah is much the same. Yeah, I can imagine. But that's probably because no one wants to be near her. Just know that to be a good leader, you must learn to give those you work with the benefit of the doubt. Trust begets trust. Do you understand? I... I guess. On the other hand, a good leader also listens to all of his subordinates, gathers information, and makes the necessary decisions based on that intelligence. So, I want you to finish what you were saying, and I promise to take it fully into consideration. Well, on the first day that Sigrid and I were exploring, we found another memory room. It was a police station. We solved it, and afterwards we found a gun. We're sorry for not saying anything sooner, but we didn't know if we could trust everyone or not. We suspect that this was Max's memory room. He came to us in the night asking about where the gun was. How would he have known that room would give us a gun if it weren't his? Plus, he never told anyone that he got his memory back. Damn. Maybe the man's not on our side after all. He lied by omission. I don't like that. So did we though, but yeah. <laughs> the most important part of this information is that he doesn't know we're onto him yet. We can use this to work out if he's on our side or not. For now, I suggest we keep this between us and keep a close eye on him. Especially with whatever happens on the next countdown. Okay, that sounds good to me. As for the gun, he thinks you two don't have it. So, keep hold of it for now. Do you know how to use one? Sigrid is a good shot. She hit a lot of targets at the police station shooting range. That's right. Great. Don't use it unless you absolutely have to. You don't want a murder charge on your hands after we get out of here. Also, keep in mind that the threat of violence can be more persuasive than the violence itself. Max appears at the end of the hall. Bates clears his throat before he speaks. <clears throat> okay, good work, you two. We will deal with this soon, I promise. The group is gathered in front of the computer. Alright, everyone's here. Now, if we could just... Counts down complete. Four subjects are to proceed to the indicated room. No, we refuse to participate. You can't make us risk our lives for no good reason. I will not tolerate disobedience. Proceed to the indicated room immediately. Or else what? Bring out the person in charge. Then we'll talk about going into one of your rooms. I am unable to proceed as planned due to the subject's disobedience. I will enact the Black Door Protocol. Is that that door there with the pentagram on it? Black Door? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Another countdown appears on the screen. Here we go again. God damn it, what the fuck is it going to be this time? Something to do with the Black Door over there is what it said. If so, we have some time to get ready. I think we should use it to explore the complex again. If we find more memory rooms, we should complete them to recover more information. It's already been a long day. I suggest we get some rest first. So we're in good shape to deal with whatever this black door protocol is. H how long is the countdown? I agree. I'm beat from questioning this stubborn machine all day. Okay, those who need to rest up, go ahead. Those who want to explore, we will go together. We meet back here one hour before the new countdown ends. Sigrid, how about we sleep for an hour or so and then head back out? Okay, that works for me. Let's go. I don't like working with Hunter. <laughs> Sometimes later in Sigrid and Hunter's room. Sigrid is once again awoken by an intruder. Max? Max, is that you again? A dark figure wearing a mask clamps his hand around Sigrid's mouth and injects her with a syringe. Sigrid passes out, with the image of the man in the mask looming over her being the last thing that she sees before losing consciousness. Nice plank of wood for her face. Sigrid, Hunter, Bates and Ethan awake together. Uh... Sigrid, are you alright? Yes, just so groggy. 
Is that Ethan Bates? Yes, we're here. We're fine. Just woozy. Where are we? I don't know, but I could hazard a guess. The room that Unit 731 designated for us? I'd say so. Fuck! What are we gonna do? It seems we have no choice. The door doesn't open. Reality around them distorts. The demon appears once more. Hello again, my pretties. Let's play another game, shall we? I don't want to. <laughs> this time, I'll be joining in more directly. I want to get back to bed. <laughs> we'll have a battle of endurance. Just keep running in your lane and don't die. If the grinder catches me, then those of you still alive can go free. To top it all off, I won't even attack any of you. Remember last time? There was something we didn't pick up about the rules. It said it wouldn't attack any of us, but does that mean we can attack it? Good thinking. Ethan and I will take the lanes next to it and try to bring it down. You two just concentrate on keeping ahead of the grinder it mentioned. Okay. I'm pretty sure I got out of breath the last time I had a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like you a little bit more now. Try not to panic, Hunter. <laughs> you don't want to have a big adrenaline dump right now. <laughs> pun not intended. Oh, it was a great pun though. Don't worry. We'll have this thing taken down before you run out of steam. I promise you that. <sighs> Avoid the obstacles on the course by using A and D. The cigarette is hitched and we're closer to the grinder. If she's hit three times, game over. Okay. Okay, it's uh, one of these sort of infinite runner type deals. And it's just gonna go faster and faster, right? Jeez, there's some tight squeezes. So it's not about speed, it's about how tight the squeezes are. Just gotta get as close to the obstacles as you can before you hit the button. It is still getting faster though as well. This is gonna be a, a douche, isn't it? <laughs> Staying in middle lane is always optimal, because it gives us two ways to go, more time to react, you know. How fast is this going to get out of curiosity? My timing's not really that fast, you know, I'm getting old. <laughs> it's the age, the age is catching up to me, man. I mean, I know I can afford three mess-ups, but still. Oh, are you serious? Guys, I can't keep going. My heart feels like it's going to burst out of my chest. It's been nice knowing you, everyone. I hope you all make it out of here. Take him out. We haven't met up with stop him yet. I won't let anyone else I know die if I can do something about it. Hunter, I'll leave getting out of here in your hands. Don't fail me. No way. He killed himself? Bates pulled the demon into the grinder, but why is the track still moving? Shouldn't it have stopped when the demon died? You mistakenly thought that I could die during this game? Anyway, a deal's a deal. You can go now. But... But we lost Bates. He's like, the leader. Shit! He just died right in front of us. We need our leader. Damn it. Bates died for me. Bates. Your sacrifice won't be wasted. Oh man, I liked him. <laughs> God, he's really dead. What do we do? Let's find the others. We need to let them know what happened. There you are. What's happened to you? The countdown has stopped. Where the hell have you been? Where's Bates? I thought he'd be with you. Leah, Bates is... Hunter punches the wall. God fucking damn it! Everyone. Bates... was killed. Someone came to our rooms and drugged us. 
We woke up in the room Unit 731 was trying to make us enter. We had to play a game against the demon. And Bates died in the process. I'm not sure we would have made it without him sacrificing himself. Well, Hunter wouldn't have made it. That's bullshit! You were all doing fine. I was the one who couldn't keep up the pace. Yeah, I wish Hunter had died instead of Bates. I mean, bring Bates back. <laughs> no offense, Hunter. Well, a little bit. <laughs> he died because of me. Hunter? Hunter, remember what Bates said. He's had his time. And now the rest of us have to step up. Think of it as him repaying the debt he owed to his partner, Ralph. How did it happen exactly? The floor started to move. We had to keep running, but it got faster and faster. Behind us was some kind of grinder. Bates grabbed the demon and dragged them both into it. So this demon is dead? No. It didn't die, but it did let us go. It's gonna come for us again. Yes, it will. Until there's no one left, I'm sure. I'll take care of Bates' remains. Max, if you would please help me bring him to the infirmary. I'll try to keep his body preserved until we find a way to leave this place. I will. Everything is a little... heated right now. Let's take a couple of hours to ourselves to process what happened and then I'll call on everyone. You need to get shit done though. There's shit to do out there. Hey, Hunter. Are you alright? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. I'm as well as I can be, I guess. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Yeah, me too. I just can't believe that Bates is gone. He gave himself up for me. How can we afford to lose him? That's the problem. He was the leader. If we could afford to lose anyone, it was not him. That's just the kind of leader he was. He's the kind of leader we need right now. He should be here instead of me. Don't say that. Don't ever say that. I said that. <laughs> but then I'm a callous son of a bitch, so... <laughs> we need people who can fill his shoes now. Don't shut down on us. You're right. I can't dwell on this until I get us all out of this mess. Bates might have had it easy. What do you mean? Because he's dead now rather than having to go through this shit forever. His job's over. Ours is still ongoing and who knows what we'll face next. And remember what he told you? They're your responsibility now. He told you to take care of our group and find a way to get us out of here. Because you're the leader now. He trusted that you could do it. He believed in you that much. And frankly, so do I. I... Yeah. Thanks for having my back. Hey, we're a team. Of course I'm with you. I just want to say Sigurd's jacket is fucking sweet. <laughs> I like it. Hey, is someone there? It's me. Oh, hi Luba. Is everything alright? It's fine. Ethan's taking care of his body. Listen, I'm here because I want to tell you about what the rest of us decided we should do. Given the great danger we face, we've decided that we should stick together at all times. I'm here to ask if you could sleep in the common room from now on. Alright, I understand. Alright, we'll go with you. Thank you. I'll see you two there then. What did you make of that? I think we're beginning to suspect each other, Sigrid. Why? People are hiding secrets from the rest of the group, and I think we're all beginning to lose trust in one another. It's the demons. I mean, it's all, at least the, the enemy we face is obvious, you know? Big creepy demon guys. Then we have to come clean about our secrets. We have to tell the rest of them about the gun. You're right. We need to make Max tell us what he knows, too. Sigrid and Hunter head to the common room. Overcome by exhaustion, Sigrid falls into a deep sleep. Um, Sigrid, you okay? Oh, uh, good morning, Luba. Hey, you were tossing and turning. Sorry, I uh, had terrible dreams. I don't blame you. There's a lot of pressure on us. Are you feeling okay? That dream was honestly horrific. Do you want to talk it out? There was a man, and I feel like I know him. Some demon is imprisoning him. Hmm. Anything else? He keeps calling me by my name. You know, studies about our dream show that we dream about our reality. So it's likely that your dream was inspired by an actual event. My reality must be fucked up then, because I have weird-ass dreams. <laughs> it could be a metaphor for our situation, for what happened to Bates. Yeah, I guess. So time to rise and shine, Sleeping Beauty. The others are heading for the computer room. There's something Leah wants to try. Luba? Hmm? Thanks so much for looking out for me. You do the same for me, right? We can't fix your finger. 
One of us is dead. Loss within acceptable parameters. A restart is unnecessary. One of us is dead. God damn it. Tell your masters he'll eventually run out of subjects for his experiment. Negative. Subject supply adequate and replenishable. Replenishable? We're gonna get more people. You... you... Please answer this much. A masked man came and kidnapped some of us. Who is this person? Did they come from the Black Door? Negative. No such asset in the database. Will they come again if we refuse to play along with your games? The question is irrelevant to the objective. I am proceeding to the next phase. Another countdown. Damn it, not this shit again! What did you expect? It's not like they were going to just let us out like that. So what do we do now? Let's head back to the meeting room. We can make plans there without this machine listening in. What do we know for sure? This complex is capable of reconstructing itself according to an individual's memory. The more we search this place, the more rooms we find, the sooner we get our memories back. Yep. Then can we leave? <laughs> so it's in our best interest to keep looking for these rooms. Yes. Well, what are we waiting for then? Let's get to it. Wait, everyone. Just a minute. I need to make an announcement. What is it? There's something I've kept hidden from you all. I don't have a perfect explanation for it, only that I didn't know whom to trust. The truth is, Sigrid and I had already solved a memory room the day she arrived. It was a police precinct with several puzzles we had to solve. Inside, we found a gun. What? You're telling me that all this time, you had a weapon on you? Basically, yeah. A weapon you could have used on our enemies, which you could have used to save bits. I kept it hidden in our room. When that man kidnapped us, I didn't have it on me. What is the gun now, Hunter? Here it is. Give it to me! Max lunges for it, but Duchesne blocks his way. Well, well, wait, hold up. Let's not get excited. We gotta talk about who gets their hands on what. Hunter found the gun, and he should hold on to it. That's not something you can decide on your own. The group's safety comes first. As long as Max doesn't have it, we should be alright. You withheld vital information from us. Something that could have saved lives. I'm sorry. Look, if solving rooms brings back someone's memories, then one of us got his memory back and didn't say a word about it. Max. <laughs> Are you saying? Max came to our room looking for that gun. He never said why or how he knew there was a gun in the first place. When we solved the police precinct, he got his memory back, but he kept it a secret. Oi, Max. It's true. Your silence isn't helping us, Max. If we are going to get out of this together, you have to tell us what you know. I can see right through you, bruv. I knew you were shady. <laughs> well, because he's shady, he's a cop. <laughs> Let my past stay buried, where it belongs. I assume he's a cop anyway. All I want is that gun. It's mine. You can have it once you start talking. Then there's nothing to resolve here. You ain't got nowhere, bruv. Duchesne swings at Max, who gracefully dodges the punch. With a lightning fast movement, Max trips Duchesne, who stumbles to the floor. I'll get you, you fucker. Everybody except Max restrains Duchesne. Max uses this, this moment to slip out of the room. It looks like you need some time to cool off. I'll be back for that gun. Max, wait! We all agreed to stick together. Wanker! Calm yourself, Duchesne. We need to stay level-headed right now. Fine, fuck! Just get off me. Max is gone again. So what now? Who gets to keep the gun? Does anyone have any experience with firearms? Don't look at me. Fine. Keep it for now, Hunter. But when, and if the time comes, you will surrender that gun. Do you understand? I promise. I guess she's our new leader. Makes sense, I guess. I'm sorry to lie to you all. It's not much, but I swear you can trust me. Before he died, Bates told me to look out for the group, and that's what I'm gonna do. We'll hold you to that, Hunter. How about we start looking for more memory rooms? Some hours of searching later. Wait, is that? Bugger me. I think we found another one. Let me through. By the looks of it, it's... Wait, everything here looks familiar. Could this be? Leah? This place. I know this place. Reality warps and a demon appears. 
So, this is the creature. You don't recognize me, girl? Reality warps. Leah finds herself within the demon. With the demon in a world that isn't his. Are we going to her past then? Do you remember what happened here? I do not. Let us play once again. Then maybe you will remember. Each of us will have a grid in front of us. <laughs> oh, no. You will assign the ship's crew members a grid coordinate, and I will set the same number of coordinates on my board. We will then take turns firing at a coordinate on each other's board. If I hit a coordinate containing one of your crew members, then they will explode. We're playing battleships? If you destroy all of my assigned coordinates before I kill you all, then the rest of you can go free. Ooh, exciting. I like battleships. Wait, the rest of you can go free? Why the rest of you? Oh, I see. Now, suffer. God damn it. Alright, I can play battleships. Choose grid coordinates to place sailors. You must place all the sailors adjacent to each other. Once you've assigned all ten to a grid, to grid coordinates, you'll move on to the firing phase. In the second phase, you'll alternate turns with the demon while firing at locations on each other's grids. If you hit the ten spots of the demon's grid before yours, you win. Far out. Alright, second attempt. We can do this. Alright. more random the, the pattern, the harder it's going to be for him to hit anything. You know? We were so close. Dude, he is aiming very close to us already. Although we've already hit him twice, I guess so. I'll take it. <laughs> We're ahead. Come on. Yes. Alright, he's hit one. Still ahead for now. Two. Alright, we're halfway. Jesus. You put like five in a row? That is gonna make the next lot harder. I think we're nearly there, we got like two to go. Shit. It's all about who lands the first shot, really. Landing the first shot gives you a massive advantage. Okay, okay. We're running out of options. He's halfway. We got one to go. He's got three to go. Done. <sighs> all right, we did it. We did it. Leia, are you all right? You disappeared on us. Y yes, I'm okay. I, I just, I was back in that nightmare. Let's get back to the meeting room. We can talk there. Wait, before that. Sigrid opens the door again and takes a chess piece from the floor. Leah, this must be yours. Thank you. Please. Let's just leave this place. What happened there, Leah? Something came back to me in bits and pieces. It feels very fragmented. I don't understand why it's not as complete as Bates's or Duchamp's. Well, what can you tell us? I specialized in the field of artificial intelligence. I was working on a unique project for the French government. The people in charge decided to station me aboard one of their cassard class navy ships to complete my project. It was the safest location for me to continue my work, and the French administration funded and provided clearance for me to pursue it. I was good friends with the ship's captain. 
Captain Burgell. We used to play chess together in his room. I was developing an AI designed to combat the demons. I brought up the idea of an experiment I wanted to perform using the AI. Something to do with an artifact we had on board. I thought this experiment would help. What about these demons? Do you know any more about them? The entire planet is at war against them, and we are losing. The working theory was they came from a parallel dimension, but we are not sure. Maybe they came from Mars, when they tried to use it to harness electricity. <laughs> what we do know is that these demons have reality-bending powers. Powers they use to corrupt humans, and gain strength through our mental and physical suffering. Their favorite manner of doing this? Is it through games? Indeed. They feed off the psychic energy of our suffering. Or so they claim. Sounds like fun guys. So assuming the demons are behind this place, we have to stop giving them energy. Meaning we have to stop participating in these games. Leah, what happened with your experiment? The project wasn't a success. It was an unmitigated disaster. The experiment I conducted with the artifact wound up corrupting the AI with the demon's malevolence. The AI managed to give our position to a demon. We... we fought in a game. And many people died. The captain felt forced to sacrifice the entire ship and much of the crew to stop the demon. I was able to escape on a lifeboat. As for Captain Berger, he didn't make it. It was horrific. I never wanted that to happen. I only wanted to help stop the demons. Instead, I... I was responsible for so much death. What happened after? A British Royal Navy vessel picked up the survivors. The British and French governments were working together, and they wanted me to continue my research. At first, I balked at the idea. I didn't want to cause another disaster. But you went ahead with it anyway? You knew that your experiments were dangerous. Why the hell would you do it all again? I thought that I could redeem myself. If I could find a way to succeed. If I could turn the tables on the demons. I would find a way to avenge those people I led to their deaths. I would defeat the demons once and for all. That's why I did what I did. So what happened after? They sent me to a secret facility where I could continue my research. Things get a little foggy from there. But perhaps it will come back to me. I think I just need a little more time. We ain't got much time. When's that countdown done? It ends in about half an hour by my count. <laughs> oh shit, we really don't. Well, I have an idea. Something to turn the tables on that fucking robot. It'll be dangerous, but maybe we can figure out how to get out of here if it works. Here's what we do. I think the man in the mask, whoever he is, came from that black door. So that means he can get into this complex. Then the way he came in might be our way out. Let's prepare. Alright, we're gonna wrap this one up here because we're out of time for this episode. We didn't even have to do a puzzle room. Just uh, a couple of the games, which weren't too bad, to be honest. The running one was okay and the battleships one was also okay, even though it took me two attempts, but you know. I'm not a battleship's champion by any stretch of the imagination, but I can I can hold myself. I can handle myself in, in battleship confrontation. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.